Hi everyone, this is me Osama Gazel, and in today's tutorial we'll be talking about the speed ramping effect on Adobe After Effects. Actually, if you guys check my channel, you will find me explaining the same tutorial, the same effect, I'm sorry, on Adobe Premiere Pro for those who are more interested in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, but since I actually like to do it on both Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects, so I thought it might be uh, cool to explain it on both. Alright, so let's get started, guys. Uh, as we said last time in my recent tutorial, um, in order to apply the speed ramping effect in Adobe Premiere Pro, we have to match our clips in a way that makes it look proportionate. So when we apply the speed ramping effect, it looks cool. All right, it's pretty much the same principle applied on Adobe After Effects, but it's gonna be just a little bit different since Adobe After Effects offers more than Adobe Premiere Pro when it comes to dealing with the curves. Uh, the, the key frames and all that so let's see how uh, all right so as you guys can see what I'm opening now is the Adobe Premiere Pro window and I don't really want you to get confused by it uh, but I thought it might be cool to let you guys know how we can start everything from Adobe Premiere Pro then through Adobe Premiere Pro we can actually switch to After Effects which saves us a lot of time so what we have to do is right click go to replace with After Effects. This is really cool uh, for those who want to know how to save time or organize the footage in a better way. And now we have to name our file. I'll just call it speed ramping and save place. I do save my FISATs and hit save and yeah we are ready now all right so now we start adobe after effects so let's see how the speed ramping effect can be done on it all right so the way to do it is pretty much similar to what we had on adobe premiere pro in my last tutorial and that that will be by right click on the clip going to time enable time remapping and once that opens you will have these default keyframes toggled on the clip and you don't have to worry about that for now so what we have to do is as I said in the last Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial we just have to decide when we're going to start and end the speed ramp effect okay so let's say I will start here so I have to set my cursor on this point toggle a keyframe and let's say we wanted to make it fast right so I will end it by let's say this point and here is the beautiful part about Adobe After Effects guys you can actually set your keyframe while applying the speed ramping effect by dragging this timer on the clip and in the same time your footage moves around with the timer in order to let you know what point you're at so if you want to stop at certain point it makes it way more easier for you to decide if that's the right frame to stop at or not and I will stop here let's check that out okay so I guess it's a little bit slow so we can just move this the star keyframe a little closer to the end keyframe and check how that works and now it works so much better. We can just hold Command Shift D all three keys together, and that will split our clips into two separate clips. So we can just get rid of the remaining part that we don't need anymore and drag the second clip. And while dragging, we can press the Shift key in order to snap it to the previous clip. Let's check that out again. Yeah, so now we have to do the same with the second clip. Can start by the beginning, right click, time, enable time remapping. And in this case, if you guys remember what I said about the default keyframes um, that you will guys have once you activate the time remapping tool, in this case, in the second clip, the first keyframe is going to be our starting point okay and let's say that we will end 
the speed ramping by this point so we go to our timer drag it to the right and I guess that will be cool enough let's try that I think I can just overlap Yeah, now it works really nice. Alright, so now as we set our keyframes and make sure that everything works the way we want it to be, um, what, what else we can do on Adobe After Effects and can't do on Adobe Premiere Pro? Um, so here's a little feature that you will need a lot in the future, guys, and it's called Graph Editor. And the beautiful thing about the graph editor is that it makes you able to control the speed of your effects, uh, like regardless what kind of effects you're trying to apply. So you can have that sort of gradual speed in your effects between the start and the end point. All right, so let's show you guys how's that done. All right, what I have to do is press in the graph editor button over here, and in order to let the graph show up in this panel I just have to make sure that I'm actually uh, clicking the timer map tool and as you guys can see so far I have this linear graph between the start and the end point of the speed ramping effect and the reason we have this definite straight line is that we didn't change anything yet alright so in order to play a little bit around with it and um, change the speed from this from this to a little more gradual and nicer look what we have to do is first of all go into the start point click it and as you guys can see here there is two other buttons called easy ease out and easy ease in right it depends on the effect and it depends on how you actually want to apply this effect but what you can do is by Click in the start point as we said, go into the easy ease out and as you guys can see this, let's zoom in a little bit, this handle over here, what you can do is drag it all the way to the right and let's check that. Right. If you guys can notice, it started really slow then went really fast by the start of the second clip okay let's get back and check that out in a preview mode and if you guys found that dealing with the whole graph editor thing is a little bit hard and complicated especially if you're still in the beginning and trying to understand the basics of using after effects that's okay no problem at all so instead what you can actually do is highlighting all your keyframes right click go to keyframe assistant choose easy ease and that will actually give you a pretty close result to what we had when we used the graph editor but of course as I said before in the future whenever you want to customize your um, effects and want them to look nicer you will have to learn how to do with the graph editor because it helps you a lot and actually one of the tools that makes you stand out against other peers or other film editors uh, okay uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I would really like to see your comments and thoughts in the comment section below if you have any idea or any effect that you want me to analyze and uh, explain please let me know uh, you can subscribe to my channel just to keep yourself aware of my uh, next videos and you can also follow me on Instagram uh, to see my latest videos and you can find the link down in the description and I will be looking forward for your comments and feedback guys thank you so much and see you next time